Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Hunt, Senior Project Management Instructor here at Stormwind Epic Live. And today's blog is going to be just a little bit different. A lot of times I'll do like PMP exam tips or what to expect on your application. But today, because I've been hearing a lot of grumblings from people in my project management classes about the pros and cons of project management information systems or your software. So this blog is about, are you controlling your PMIS or is it controlling you? Specifically, I'm going to focus on Microsoft Project 2016 or any other versions, 2010, 2013, 2009, it doesn't really matter. Across the years, Microsoft Project has been the number one project management system or information system or software for project managers around the world. Now, Microsoft's fiber optic network could stretch to the moon and back three times over. This is according to Microsoft. So if that's the case, why is scheduling so difficult with Microsoft Project? And so as we go through this, just bear in mind that I completely understand. I've been right there where you are experiencing the downside of Microsoft Project. Here are the biggest complaints. It's not intuitive. It, it keeps changing dates. Every time I touch something, it pushes out my end date. It, it doesn't work unless I physically force it manually to do what I want it to do. And you know what? Not everybody has Project. So not everybody can read the plan. Not that I want anybody touching my schedule because I don't but to do reporting is much more difficult. And here's another downside. It can't manage any other project aspects. Like, what do I do about change control? There is no risk management section in Microsoft Project. And by the way, I'm having a difficult time collaborating with other project managers to see if my resources are going to be over allocated because I'm sharing them across other projects. And you know what? It's overwhelming. There are way too many options. What do you mean there are eight Gantt chart views? Why? How, wait, how many tables are there in here? How many different views are available? You know, how do I do any of this? Trust me, the frustration is very clear. I've been exactly where you are, and I understand. I'm both empathetic and sympathetic to your plights. So here's the upside. Here's the good news. It is intuitive. But what we have to do is make sure that we set up our schedules correctly. We have to make sure that our calendars are set up correctly, that we've got the correct precedence relationships designed in so that the, the software knows what it is that we're trying to do. And if we set it up correctly, it will schedule automatically. And there are lots of different ways to share information with those people that don't have access to project. You can export everything into an Excel spreadsheet. And there are lots of different ways that you can run reports with pivot tables, charts, and graphs, and so on. So even though they don't maybe have Microsoft Project, there are lots of different options. And that's excluding SharePoint and the web app for Microsoft Project that allows for much better collaboration. It can manage other projects. It can look at other aspects. In fact, you have the opportunity to set multiple baselines that will allow you to track changes as they occur and keep track of the progression of your project. Different views, yes, I know they're overwhelming, but here's the cool thing. You can pick and choose what works for you. Not only can you choose views and tables that work for you, but you can also customize your views and your tables. So you're only seeing the information that you need to see. And there are options, again, for real-time collaboration, especially if you have web access, or you're able to store a resource sheet on a shared network drive, create a resource pool that project managers can draw from, and be able to see if your resources are over allocated. Too many options. That's good. Having lots of options, having multiple Gantt chart views to look at different information in different ways, to set up your tables and customize them. Project is comprehensive. It is a bulky software. It's not the easiest thing to intuitively jump in and begin creating project plans and managing your schedule. But a few very powerful, simple tips and tricks can help retain sanity, but also help you save a lot of time and a lot of effort when you're managing your software instead of it managing you. 
even if you are a power user, saving time is essential. Because this program is so big and has so many different options available to it, even if you are a power user and you learn two things that save you 20 hours a week, that's worth it. Using best practices in project management like PMP, like the PMBOK guide, and then applying that same philosophy to the software and learning the software will allow you to control the plan instead of the other way around. There are lots of different ways to look at things, multiple timelines that you can create, customization so you can quickly and easily and visually see what's going on with your project plan. Here are my top 10 ideas to help you save your sanity. It's like my, it's my top 10 list of things to know. First, make sure your, your calendars are set up correctly. This is going to go a long way to managing schedules. So you've got your project calendar, your resource calendar, your task calendars, and if you customize them, they will work for you, not against you. You've got to understand the precedence relationships, finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish, as well as how lead lag time works in your schedules. If you understand that, linking and having automatic scheduling will be so much easier. Knowing the difference between work, durations, and dates, and the scheduling formula that calculates based on different task types and the information and resources that you add to your schedule. Do you know what fixed units are versus fixed work or fixed duration? As soon as you understand that, it opens up a whole world of scheduling in Microsoft Project. Know the power of setting multiple baselines, especially as things change you can take a look and track performance from the very beginning to where you currently are now. Also understanding how critical path can help you monitor and control your schedule, as well as moving resources around if they become over allocated. Number seven, be aware that the level of effort by your resources that are human is rarely 100%. Although the software assumes everybody's working 100% of the time, unless you tell it differently. This can significantly impact your overall schedule. And know which views and tables work for you or how to customize those views and tables so that you're only seeing what you need to see. Also understand that if you go in and you start manually changing dates, what you're doing is setting constraints. And constraints, as we know, will cause all sorts of havoc on your schedule. So if you've ever gotten to a point where your schedule becomes totally rigid and won't change or adapt or you keep getting a lot of errors, chances are you change the dates manually instead of letting the software schedule it for you. And resource management across multiple projects is possible with resource pools on a shared network as well as managing master projects where you can have all of your projects that you're managing in one place. That is my top 10 list. Now, if any of these things don't sound familiar to you, if you are still confused, it's okay. Learning the basics of project rarely helps you out in the very real world of project management. So if you're still confused about some or all of those things on the list, or you have additional questions, never fear, I'm gonna help you out. Because right now I'm working on an actual course that will incorporate all the best practices of project management professional PMP PMBOK guide with a real world, how do I do this? in the software so we can put together both best practices and real world project management using Microsoft software. So watch out for that. That's coming soon. Hopefully I'll see you then. Thanks everybody.